will rule the lanes tonight? The legend Kelly Kulik starts off with a crown, but two other champions want it for themselves. Clara Guerrero and Daria Payok. Those stars will square off for the chance to the throne, Kelly. It's the PBA King of the Lanes Empress Edition, presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon, next. This is it, bowling fans. You know why? Tell me, Dan. Because we have bowling fans. Hundreds are here at one of the most energetic, most electric, just plain fun bowling centers in the nation. Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine. Bo Po, Bo Po. We make bowling history tonight for the first time on a PBA show on FS1, an all-female lineup, starting the first ever King of the Lanes Empress Edition, presented by Pass Blue Ribbon. We start the event over two nights with 11 PWBA stars. Only one can be named Empress tonight. Team Columbia star and major champion Clara Guerrero takes on Poland's Daria Payo in the contenders match. The winner takes on Hall of Famer, our first Empress, Kelly Kulik. Welcome, bowling fans. To the bowling fans. Out of the Hall of Famer Randy Peterson. Wow. Listen to that. What's better? Nothing. This is National Lobster Day. <laughs> We're here in Maine, in Portland. It's the first time we've had fans ran at an event since February of 2020. The U.S. Open in Lincoln, Nebraska. Last year. We're back. They're back. You had me when you, you said we had fans. And even though we're not at full capacity, what better place to finally have the fans at a venue that has the best atmosphere in professional bowling. And that's right here, Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine. They're amazing. You can take a handful of folks here at Bayside and they'll sound like a thousand. Absolutely incredible. Kelly Kulik is our first empress in our first show here from Portland. There she is on the throne. She has the crown, she has a scepter. Hall of Fame legend. And recently back in the winner's circle on the PWBA tour. Yeah, I mean, you know, Dave, we talked about it. She was contemplating retirement, hadn't won since 2017, and then snaps went off in Albany just two weeks ago. But who can forget what she did that right there? 2010, hosting that trophy, Tournament of Champions, beating Mika Koivuniemi and then Chris Barnes in the title match, becoming the first woman to ever win a national title on the PBA Tour, and it was a major. Kelly has six career majors in her Hall of Fame career, and she's joined now lay level by Kimberly Presley. Yeah, Kelly is a veteran, and she's done so much in her illustrious career. But Kelly, you've never bowled here in this atmosphere with these type of fans. What's it like to be here today? You know, Kimberly, I say the louder, the better. We just spent 15, 16 months being quiet, being quarantined, and being covered. It's time to celebrate bowling tonight here at FS1, and I'm great, so proud to be part of it. Absolutely, and let's talk about the fact that this is the first special event that's all female on FS1. It's part of the PBA events here. What does it mean to be part of this moment to you? It means that I'm a part of history. This building brought the PBA League here, and it started to celebrate team bowling again. And now they're bringing special events, the men's singles, and the women have two teams, and now we're celebrating women's bowling here tonight. So the history just keeps getting deeper and deeper, I'm happy to be a part of it. Well, you're the first Empress, so go ahead and take that throne, and we will see you in the next match. You heard Kelly, Kimberly. Let's make some noise. It's about time. Here are the odds to win, provided by Fox Pet. Clara Guerrero, minus 500, is the favorite. Now, let's meet our bowlers. Representing Poland, she bowls out of Bowling Patwa in Piwa, Poland, Daria Pajunk. Place finished last week in Nashville. Tonight, she looks to continue the ride, that wave of momentum. Listen to this crowd. And Kelly has a front row seat on the throne. But I know one thing about Kelly Kulik. 
She is completely focused on this match and what she needs to do to retain the crown. Former PWBA Rookie of the Year. Daria starts our night left lane. Just a four pin, no split. The Polish powerhouse, she's got one of the best games that I have ever seen from the PWBA side. Just so good. That big high arm swing and as much power as that tour possesses. 28-year-old who joined the tour on the women's side in 2017. That's a mark. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're getting some interaction with the fans here in Portland. Let's meet our next competitor. Representing Columbia, rolling out of Highland Lanes in Austin, Texas, Clara Guadalupe. 23 years as a member of Team Columbia, and back in 2013, she became just the third woman in PBA history to make the TV Finals. And she told us, Randy, yesterday how proud she is of her representation of her country, Colombia. Her career highlights come from all of the medals she's taken back to Colombia. But she would love to put this trophy in the case, making history. Right lane for Clara. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Randy, it's my first time here. I mean, these fans are amazing. Well, it's not my first rodeo here, and I'm, I gotta be honest with you, I'm just kind of sitting back and enjoying the sound. Her one title on the women's tour, a major 2016 Go Bowling PWBA Players Championship. As you see her arsenal, that was in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Outstanding talent on the PWBA Tour. Left lane. Tap on a 10. Tripped and down it goes. One of the biggest changes for Clara Guerrero is she's not wearing that wrist device to help create some more revolutions, keep her wrist a little more firm at the release point. And you watched her practice last night. What do you think? She's definitely getting more on it, which is something she needs. And speaking of getting something on it, uh, she, she knows how. This place is rocking. So is Doria. Crunch has the one-three pocket. Yeah, that was ten back and a beautiful shot there. And... Let's take a look at this. Uh, well, let's go to profile instead. Just beautiful extension, great-handed wrist at the bottom, and then obviously the great balance. Arsenal for Dario. Oh, it's got a hold. Comes in. Oh. They're all down anyway. How about shipping the big four out of there? Dario, full rack attack again. Well, what a great break to even the score. Watch this. This is going high. Big four standing, not anymore. We're so glad that Daria's here. It was not easy through the pandemic getting out of Poland and getting back to the U.S. We'll tell you the story. Clara looks to continue the perfect start. That's way high. And the 310 baby split is left. Yeah, and you can see just how far left that is when, when you look at the strike track powered by Kia. Right through the nose, leaving the 310. 
The idea here is to cover both pins with the bowling ball. Seven time world champion for Team Columbia in team doubles and singles events. You notice she took her wrist brace off to shoot the spare. Watch it. Oh. And that was a big pull left. Big miss, big open after the first two strikes. That's the 42 foot Mark Roth. Oil pattern. Clara Guerrero is going to play pretty straight right around that second arrow. Daria is a good seven boards left of her because of that power. Welcome. We saw Clara last year, Jupiter, Florida, King of the Lanes event, beat Jacob Buttriff before she lost to Sean Rash. Eventually, Chris Prather beat Pete Weber to be the king. This is about the Empress. That's a great shot left lane. Well, I guarantee you that neither one of these women have ever experienced an atmosphere like this, and it's uh, it can be unnerving. Kelly, as she said, with Kimberly's never been here before, so this is going to be something. Back to Kimberly Presley. Well, as a citizen of Poland, Dara almost wasn't able to make it back to the States for this event, a shoot fight for her U.S. visa in March of 2020, and was denied twice. But the third time was a charm when she was approved this year. But the struggles didn't end there for her because she needed to interview with the U.S. Embassy. And since the woman Poland was closed due to COVID, she drove 10 hours to Amsterdam and received her visa and passport just two days before she was supposed to fly here to the U.S. It's amazing. Kimberly, do you know who she contacted to get a really good lawyer for that visa? Jason Belmonte was very helpful. Daria told us that she's pretty happy with the visa and the approval, but there was a lot of angst and stress and emotion that went into that. Barely in time was able to come over to the U.S. for the PWBA Tour this year. Poland was on total lockdown for months. She couldn't bowl. That ball came all the way back from Bangor. I like your Mainer accent. That's pretty good. Yeah, and she likes that four-bagger. Look at the crowd. A friend of mine calls that a ham bone. You may have heard of him. I, I, yeah. He's awesome. I can't say that. Former major champ, Clara, back up. This place is uh -oh. jumping. That's high. Three, six, ten. Yeah, and again, strike track powered by Kia shows you just how far inside a target she is. A good three boards. Got to give it a little bit of room to the right. Otherwise, it's going to go high. Not enough oil to hold that ball on line. Daria does it by opening up her angles through the front part of the lane. Three to cover. PBA tour average. Watch big it. Big yes. Miss. Whiffed. Yeah, that was a big miss. And I'm wondering how much of that has to do with her taking that wrist brace on and off. Good point. And how much practice she's had by with with doing that. And I know that, you know, way back in the day I tried wrist devices and it took some time to get used to taking them off to shoot spares. As she told us last night, that's a relatively new change. Takes it off for the spare ball and misses all three. So Daria on the bench now is a 50 pin lead with a four backer. The brace is back on for the first shot. She's been taking it off for the spare ball. It's like a college basketball game. That's better awesome. A lot better shot. Nice response off the open. 
Hey, Dave, do you hear that sound? Yes, I do. It sounds to me like it's Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine. We've got fans, and we've got the first ever King of the Lanes Empress Edition presented by Path Blue Ribbon. And it's right here on FS1. More great bowling ahead. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by the K5 from Kia. Movement that inspires. It is National Lobster Day. What's your count, Randy? I've had some lobster stew so far. I've had a lobster roll, and we had a full lobster dinner last night. Oh, my gosh, is it good. Do you want to know? Yeah. Are you asking? Yes. I haven't had any lobster yet. What? But it's National Lobster Day. Does It, 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 it kind of counts that I had two dozen oysters last night. <laughs> To we had get quite a ready. seafood feast last night. It was awesome. Speaking of awesome, Dario Payo, four-bagger, looks for the nickel here, a sixth frame. A 50-pin lead could expand to 60 with another strike here. Six pack alert sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon. Show me somebody that doesn't like PBR, and I'll show you someone who's not an American. Do you think the fans want it here? Los Angeles remind you to please drink responsibly. <laughs> they are having quite a time here in Portland. Daria making some noise, man. First match. And a huge lead on Colombian superstar Clara Guerrero. Right lane, trouble lane for her. That's a nice bounce back. No room for error now. <laughs> Clara among all the PWBA tour stars we spoke with via Zoom this week and Yesterday during the practice sessions, we're so excited to have this opportunity to bowl on FS1 in this event, but to be here of all places where fans are finally back. Double for Clara. Saturday on Fox, Arnato and the Cardinals take on Akuta Jr. and the Braves, or the White Sox battle the Astros or Reds. Padres, it all starts at 7 Eastern on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Check local listings for the game in your area. Seven bagger. Well, I'll tell you one of the things that 
helps Daria and her beautiful game is this phenomenal release. And snapping that wrist open, you can see playing right in between third and fourth arrow. And there's the cup wrist and bent elbow. And she just unloads right into the floor. Creates a tremendous amount of power. And I believe that's seven in a row. Seven bagger. All the difficulty to get to the U.S. from Poland. Oh. Probably worth it now. Seven in a row. Well, that's over. And a difficult spare conversion, but a big lead. Let's go down to Kelly Kulik real quick. And Kelly, uh, are you learning anything by watching this match? Yeah, Randy, I am. You know, Clara's playing obviously a lot for the right. Daria's playing left. I'm looking where she's cursing at the arrow. She's going about 16, 17 to about 8 down the lane. And uh, it's really like a long cheetah. you got to get it right down the lane in order for it to recover. There's a little miss room to have. And uh, she's putting on a strike fest right now prior to the frame. All right, thank you, Kelly. Kelly, also an outstanding television analyst. Open frame, 10 pin stands. Remember on the box bet, Daria was a significant underdog to begin this match. Clara, the clear favorite. On a 45 pin lead. It's now or never for Clara. Foundation frame to cut to 35 and put some pressure on Daria. You see the max scores looking good for Daria right now. here in the 10th frame as she strikes out. Daria is only going to need six on two shots in the 10th frame to move on to take Kelly Ke to, to move on and take on Kelly Kulik. I'm so jacked and excited with this crowd. It's hard to get words out. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been 16 months since we've had a crowd. But what's so amazing though is, is you know, we've I, I, I think we've done a great job of, of making it exciting for our viewers at home with no crowds. And now with the crowd, it's just like, it, it's, it's just such a massive adrenaline rush. Tough frame. Yeah. Way to go, Clara. Way to go, Clara. Clara really finishing strong. Five you think about, go back to those two missed spare conversions, the 310 and then the 3610. She makes those two. We have a, a whole new ball game. It's a five bagger. You know what that means? It's another PBR six pack alert sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon. The fans want it clearly. Pretty good shot there, but we'll have to wait till the next match to crack open another PBR. <laughs> Two nineteen for Claire. Really good showing. Well, great experience for her. It was great having her. But it's all Daria playing in this opening match. She's going to test the waters with a different bowling ball here in the 10th frame. The former star of Weber International trying to take out the former Wichita State star. Daria has a strike, has a win, knocks off Clara Guerrero, and now will take on the Empress Kelly Kulik. Oh, baby, this place is rocking. Bayside Bowl, it's Portland, Maine on FS1. We 
hour back in Portland. A reminder, coming up next, 9 Eastern, the PBA King of the Lanes Empress Edition presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon continues as contenders Danielle McEwen and Maria Jose Rodriguez face off to meet the Empress of this show. Daria Payo of Poland, 245-219 win over Clara Guerrero from Colombia. Two big stars on the PWBA Tour. Daria is through to take on Kelly Kulik. Daria got off to a slow start in first frame with nine spear, but then after that it was lights out. There's a strike in the third, followed up with a beautiful strike in the fifth as she chips that 4-7 out. 245, 219 winner. Let's throw it down to Kimberly Pressler. Daria, so you got your first experience here at Bopo with these fans. What was that like? How was your blood flowing? I was trying to imagine how is it going to be before I walked on those lines, but it's nothing that you can imagine. It's the environment, the, 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 the heat of the moment, people yelling in the back. It's it's amazing experience. It took me some time to calm down, like slow down my brain, but I would do it every day if I could. Well, now you're you're moving on. Are you ready to take down the Empress? Yeah, Kelly? sure. Bring it on. Let's try. All right, looks like she's ready. We're going to send it back to you guys. Kelly Kulik, the legendary Hall of Famer, Kimberly, is ready, I assure you, to take on Daria Payok. Empress match coming up next on FS1. Oh, this place is rocking. This is awesome. King of the Lanes, Empress Edition, presented by Path Blue Ribbon. Dave, Randy, Kimberly, our entire crew, Portland, Maine. Bayside, ball. Ready for Pyoke against Kulik. Our Empress bowls out of Jersey Lanes in Linden, New Jersey, Kelly. First woman to win a PBA Tour title and the only one to win a major. She beat Mika Koivu Niemi and then Chris Barnes in the title match to capture the 2010 Tournament of Champions. So great to see Kelly back in the winner's circle this year. One in Albany. Odds to win the Empress match provided by Fox Bet. So Daria at plus 150, still the underdog, despite the impressive win over Clara Guerrero. Kelly Kulik is the favorite. And the Hall of Famer gets started left lane. Great start. Well, you heard her say, yeah, I, I kind of have an idea of where we're going to play the uh, the pair based on how uh, Clara and Daria are playing them. Kelly's been around the block a few times. She knows how to play this game, and she's proven that she can still win. She's going to remain on the throne because she's the empress, so she can do that. Daria! 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 Mm. good shot. Right lane. Just a little inside of target where she wanted it. tournament leader last week in Nashville, only to lose to her dear friend and tour roommate, Verity Crawley. Four pin for Daria. Yep. Verity's here, part of our presentation of the King of the Lanes Empress Edition. Verity's first career PWBA Tour title came a few days ago in Nashville, Tennessee. All the stars on the women's tour here. So many. Left lane. Daria. Look out. 2 10 split. Well, she left the 2 8 10 on that lane. The last game in frame nine. I think she. She needs to go to a stronger ball and move a little bit left and open the lane up a little bit more, Dave. First real challenge for her, and she leaves the open frame. So that's a big switch in momentum. 
after rolling over Claire Guerrero in the opening match. Seven bagger. So, Rand, I'm interested. No fans for so long. Now the fans are back, but they're not just back in a normal sense, not saying much till the ball is released. They're rocking here. What's that got to be like for the bowlers? Bring uh, tempo. It can go one of two ways. It could be unnerving for some that don't have a lot of experience, or it can get you really jacked up, and you can feed off of it. Great look at the release of the foul line of the Hall of Famer. Can't be in there. The lead early. As you talked about, top of the broadcast, RP, contemplating retirement. Kelly Kulik seeing the shutdown of the women's tour because of COVID last year. Got a lot of other interests. She's an outstanding line dancer, teaches online class. And thought, you know, I've done it all in the Hall of Fame. Maybe it's time for the next chapter. But she's such a competitor. Did not want to give it up. And one on tour again this year. Good for her. Left lane. Tie. Oh, goodness. 6-7-10. Well, you, we just watched her take a wad of tape out of her thumb hole, and it would look like it was more than one piece. It looked like a white piece with a black piece on top of it. And then the next shot she throws, she yanks it and goes right through there. Watch this now. Watch how much tape comes out of this thumb hole. There's a black and a white, at least two pieces of tape. That's a lot of tape to take out of the thumb hole in between shots, and it looked like she grabbed it at the bottom and went high. And leaves the seven, so it's an open frame. Interesting. Now Dari on the bench has a one-pin lead. They're chanting her name. And she responds. Yeah. Head to PBA.com to check out the official PBA Pro Bowling video game, including new upgraded features, including new equipment. Playing as your favorite pro and more available for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and for your PC. Left lane for Daria. Oh, left lane. Next up. Prospect Park. The section of Brooklyn. My parents are from there. Interesting. Ball change and goes Brooklyn. Working on those thumb holes during. Uh, a heavyweight match is not something you want to be fooling around with, I promise you. You saw Kelly's arsenal and you saw strength. 60 feet to success. All 10 down. As she crushes the 1 3 pocket. Fifth frame. A double here makes it a one-pin match. Winner moves on, loser's done. To cut it to one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got ourselves a match here. <laughs> I can't disagree. <laughs> this, this place is awesome. The 
Turkey for 11 pin lead. Oh, yes. Ray Spots. You see those numbers right there, folks? That strike track powered by Kia. Those are PBA men's numbers. Almost 20 miles an hour and over 400 rev rate. That's what we typically see on the PBA tour on the men's side. Daria comes from a family of great athletes. Dad, a bodybuilder in Poland for many years. Mom and dad both excellent bowlers. 3-6-10 on the high shot. Using two different bowling balls, going with a stronger ball on the left lane, but she really needs to move farther left and open up her angles a little bit more on that lane. Trying to cover 3-6-10. Got it! What a match. What an atmosphere. Portland, Maine. It's the best. Time for the Spare the Game brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate, believe you will. 3 6 10, nice cover for Daria. All smiles for now. What a finish we've got building here. Akila can take the lead right here with a strike in the sixth, working out a double. Six frame, up by two. That's really got to hurry, it doesn't. Wow, three, four, ten. Big miss. Wash up. I wonder if it's adrenaline that uh, really affected the feel in her bowling ball because, like I said earlier, that's an awful lot of tape to take out during a game. Typically, you'll see maybe one piece taken out, one piece added. And I'm wondering if adrenaline is what made her thumb swell, but she's lost feel right now. Lots of cover here, Randy. Oh. Ten pin stands. That was a terrible break, Dave, and the reason why the ten pin stands is because the head pin goes right around it. I mean, that's the spot where you want to throw your bowling ball to make the one, two, four, ten. That's unlucky. And just like that, Doria, 24 pin lead. On top of the PWBA Tour, 219 plus average for the Hall of Famer. With that trip four right there. Max score, you can see, is 220. Now, Daria using two different bowling balls, a little, a little less aggressive ball in the right lane, that big strong ball on the left. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of adjustment that Daria makes. Remember, the last two shots for her on that left lane, one went Brooklyn, the other one went high, shift the 3 6 10. As we see Kelly trip that four pin one more time. Seventh for Daria, works on a spare. Oh man. That was a filthy ring and ten. Really good shot. You know the other great thing about being back in Portland, Maine and having the fans? What's that? Uh, none of the bowlers can hear my big mouth from the booth, <laughs> so I can't distract them in any way. Your voice does tend to carry. I can hear you all the way across the bowling center, wherever we are. 
Wait, in the what? country. What? Always. I know where you are. It's easy to find you. That's a good thing as a broadcaster, believe me. I'm not so sure, Dave, but <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I do. Right. 23 pin lead here, Randy. Yeah, and, and so, again, this is going to be the telling shot, and she's going back to the same ball she's using on that right lane. She gave the other one a couple of looks, didn't like it. Big shot, left lane, Dario, yeah! Three-time national champion at Weber International in Florida. Kelly had a great collegiate career as well. And of course on the pro side. Fabulous. Well, and more head state. Oh! Cross the deck, it goes. Down goes the 10. Well, wait a minute. Uh, uh, did you see the reaction? Uh, Double K just getting, getting a little fierce out there. Nice little messenger here. Heppin goes to the sidewall and comes back for seconds. And then. Foundation frame, big shot. Got the three. Oh, no. Oh, nine pin. No. She liked it, too. She liked it. It's two bad breaks now for Kelly late in this game. Wrapping the head pin around the washout. And then this solid nine right here. Unlucky. Yeah. career for Kelly, 17 year member of Team USA. But Daria, who has represented Poland so well, is in the driver's seat here. Nice frame. Yeah. yeah, she just doesn't trust that ball to the right. She knows it's a little bit weaker, a little bit less reactive down lane, and she's afraid to get it wide. And so she does what instinctively players do, and she yanks it, goes through the nose, but luckily only leaves the 3-6-10. No gimme on this spare. Covers nicely. And, and just so... Just so we're clear, the last time she made that, it was the guaranteed rate spare the, of the game, right? That's right. It still is the guaranteed rate spare of the game. I'm with you. It's not an easy shot. It's not. 3-6-10. Does it uh, twice. It, it'll, get, it'll get your attention. Needs 17 here in the 10th frame to shut out Kulik. question for you. What, Randy? Do they have polar bears in Poland? I don't think so, no. Well, that was cooler than a polar bear's feet. I'm telling you right now. What a beauty of a shot. And just can't opens that pocket. Are you sure? Can you Google that real quick? I will Google that, but I, I am I think they do. Very sure Poland does not have polar bears. I don't know. Google will tell us. Daria Payok 
advances and has dethroned the reigning empress herself, Hall of Famer Kelly Kulik. New royalty in Portland. You may take a seat at the royal throne. You need a crown, you need a scepter, you need a robe, your majesty. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by the K5 from Kia. Movement that inspires. It's the grabs of the crown moment. Sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon. Daria Payo. She's got the crown. She's got the scepter. The robe is there. She's on the throne. She's knocked off. Kelly Kulik. I love the grabs. The grabs and the paps. It, it's just all working for me. It's perfect. A reminder coming up next here on FS1, the PBA King of the Lanes Empress Edition, presented by Path Blue Ribbon, continues contenders Danielle McEwen, Maria Jose Rodriguez face off to meet the current Empress, Daria Payo. Now for Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler, the entire crew, Dave Bryan saying so long. For now, from Portland, Maine, you've been watching the PBA on FS1. First ever. PBA King of the Lanes Empress Edition, presented by Path Blue Ribbon, is underway. And Daria Payo has dethroned the Empress, Kelly Kulik, to move on.